uh, welcome back to my classes so today we will be continuing uh, our graph scenario so now we are seeing about uh, line graphs so we have already covered the pie graphs and bar graphs now we have uh, into the line diagrams so usually uh, pie graphs will be done for percentage uh, comparison and the other comparison will be done by if uh, two categories and the values uh, and two or three categories uh, the values will be compared using bar charts but if uh, same group is being followed up at regular intervals or if there is a clinical trial before and after in such scenarios we can use the line diagram it will keep the overall picture of that scenario or that experiment so usually line graphs will be used for clinical trials and follow-up studies so here we can uh, see a scenario three people and their exams in three internal and their final exam marks okay so mr a b c their first second third internal and final exam marks are given so let's start our three step tutorial so the first step is to select this the second step is to go to the insert button and select the line line diagram okay and our last step is select any uh, line gra graph we can select so usually i use this one the dotted line graphs so it gives the follow up of these three people for a period of time that is this is how they performed for first internal second internal third internal and for final exam we can compare it so as usual do right click format legend so format legend we put the legends at bottom and we can uh, give some uh, title for this go to layout chart title about chart exam performance uh, so we add values over this and just do the click just the tab on this point the then to the right click click the add data level so the values will be visible so similar way all the three values you can do for all the participants yes exactly click on each color any interval you can click all values will be appeared okay now it is little bit uh, congested so you can just widen this graph uh, so any number of options in line graphs so put some grid line techniques you can add some grid lines here horizontal and uh, minor vertical grid lines you can put some minor grid lines to be more how you learn all these things by exploring each one which option you can keep on exploring and do learn it slowly so so next you can add the access titles vertical axis you keep rotated that is total marks in x axis you can keep exams so if you want you can put some color to look good some light color 
yeah now it's fine now what you have to do is you can have many options go to the design you have options here you have n number of options the most commonly used is if it is very congested use this one so the scores will be showing at bottom mr a b c they have these marks because when we are putting marks over here it is too much congested so in order to avoid that uh, we can use this method so there are many ways uh, you can up this this one this one it will give you uh, some lines so this is also that so this is how you make uh, line graphs uh, again uh, you have this different colors option so you can go for any color so another thing is fine so we'll go back to our first one just keep on undoing it yeah, I will keep this uh, so this is how we do usually uh, we cannot put standard deviation here usually we put only mean value okay, so suppose we have mean and standard deviation we commonly put uh, mean value standard deviation we don't put so this is how you make uh, line graphs so line graphs is basically for follow-up studies or clinical uh, trials uh, so that's all about the line graphs okay so i'll come up with a new class session okay thank you